The Xbox Series X console as well as the PS5 are quickly aging in their ability to run games as devs move into next generation with upgraded game engines to push the industry forward. Now there are big improvements coming to the current generation Xbox that will boost performance, increase image quality and take big games from 30 FPS to 60 and beyond. This is Cold Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today, we're going to talk about a new software boost that will make Xbox Series X games run and look better. If you end up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content, and let's look at what AMD has in store for Xbox Series X. The first two years of this console generation, especially the Xbox Series X console, has seen nearly every game run at 60 FPS and some even as high as 120 FPS and all at a very high resolution. As developers have started to move their way out of the cross-generation game design and are pushing next-generation games on brand new engines, we are seeing a concern from fans and from tech analysts that we may be moving into a future of 30 FPS games. To understand how advanced and yet outdated the almost obsolete Xbox Series X and PS5 are in 2023, we have to look at the equivalent PC hardware. These consoles are essentially running a console version of the desktop Radeon RX 6700 XT, a GPU from AMD, a $300 graphics card, with a processor much like the AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, which is a $200 CPU for desktop, which is actually hardware made for the early 2020s and the lower end of performance gaming PCs. But for $500, the Xbox Series X, you're getting a seriously great looking and performing game experience for half the price of that PC equivalent. But performance or image quality are on a balancing edge as games need to either lower resolution or hold back a 30 FPS performance on Xbox Series X. AMD is ready to push a massive boost for console ahead with Fidelity Super Resolution 3.0. Just this year, AMD had announced that they are ready for FSR 2 to come to console games through developers, but now we are finding out that AAA devs are ready to skip ahead and start using FSR 3. What is Fidelity Super Resolution and what does it do for games? Fidelity Super Resolution 3 or FSR 3 is a software-based algorithm that can be used by the developer in the pipeline for their rendering budget in game engines happening all in real time. What FSR 3 does is it looks ahead to the frame time budget and increases resolution, sometimes making a lower HD resolution look HD or pushing 1080p games to look more like 4K at very little cost to performance and optimization. FSR 3 will interpolate and smooth out frame rates by giving a 30 to 50% increase in frames per second, meaning that a 60 FPS game on Xbox Series X can be pushed as far as 90 FPS or even up to 120, allowing developers to make that extra headroom to increase the resolution or further optimize their games or bring it back and lock it at 60 FPS. Digital Foundry took an in-depth look at FSR 3 by testing it on Richard Ledbetter's Frankenstein PC, which is essentially nearly identical to the Xbox Series X with hardware. He tested this on Immortals of Avian, a first-person action-adventure game that came out this year. This game by Ascendant Studios say that they want to bring FSR 3 to consoles. On this PC, the game ran at an average of 90 FPS, getting all the way up to 120, but not holding it but it's using an internal resolution of 540p. That's half of a resolution of 1080p, but making it look like it is 1080p. Using modern TVs with variable refresh rate or VRR, it will smooth out frame rate inconsistencies. And Digital Foundry explains that it needs to push to a 120 FPS target using VRR, which isn't ideal. AMD software frame rate boosts are also coming in as frame rate animation interpolation, essentially processing CPU and GPU bound loads ahead of frames to boost the frame rate from 30 to 60 FPS. The question is, is there enough headroom left over to interpolate frames while also rendering and animating gameplay in real time on console? FSR 3 on console would need a strong reduction 
in input latency for frame generation while also keeping gameplay in control of the player snappy and responsive at 16 millisecond intervals for 60 FPS games. But there is a balance between latency, image quality, and smooth frame rate. This is a new paradigm for consoles heading into Unreal Engine 5. You need overhead over 30 FPS to use FSR 3 software processing for up resolution and frame rate increase. One last issues that devs will have to tackle is the V-Sync or screen tearing that modern TVs might not be able to eliminate with the extra processing that makes FSR 3 work just ahead of those refresh rates on your TV. Xbox Series X in this case is too CPU limited in games on Unreal Engine 5, but just as Unreal Engine 5 is new to games and developers, FSR 3 is also quite new and not fully tested on consoles, let alone on PC. AMD explained the state of FSR 3 right now, saying, quote, For the initial launch of FSR 3, we are focused on laying a strong foundation for the developer community and launching with the best user experience, which meant having VSync on working well. FSR 3 frame generation in our two launch titles were tested with both FreeSync on and off in combination with VSync enabled." Close quote. The implementation of FSR 3 into games is something that according to AMD can be added with very little work from the developers to see an increased image quality and frame rate performance. This will give them the opportunity to use the additional headroom to sweeten up texture work alpha smoke particles and lighting effects, or increased animations, which are very processor intensive. Looking at the future of games coming for the Xbox Series X, with most of them running on Unreal Engine 5, or Xbox using their new iteration of their proprietary engines, a lot of fans are wondering if some of these games will be relegated to 30 FPS only, as they are fully next generation and much more advanced than that design criteria we've seen on Xbox One. FSR 3 could be one of the many solutions as machine learning AI driven algorithms will also increase performance and optimization without increased work and time on the studio making the games. This could be one thing that pushes the console throughout the rest of the generation while also giving us crisp high resolution imagery with fast frame rate and low latency response. FSR 3 is in its early stages on PC and just about to be implemented to console and as many of these games that are partnered with AMD are set to come to PC and to Xbox Series X, it is very likely that we will see a saving result for performance, increased software to extend the life of the Xbox Series X. The most important thing is that game developers working for Xbox Game Studios are able to create their best game with a great feeling, incredibly powerful story. And if the software and hardware can work alongside the teams that are making these great games, we have a lot to look forward to in the coming years. This is Cold Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video. About a year ago, I covered FSR 2.0, and even that software hasn't been implemented into games that often, and some of it hasn't come over very well. But looking at the future of Xbox games and with Starfield just releasing only at 30 FPS on Series X, is this the future? And we have a lot to look forward to. The consoles have a lot of development as they do as the game developers really get the best out of that hardware and harness it. And games usually end up looking a lot better midway to the end of the generation. And that's where we're coming in in 2024. If you ended up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new weekly content. If you want to help support this channel, if you like watching it, you learned something and you're here and I don't know why you're still here listening to me talk, but I guess you like that. You can show your support by hitting the join button below that gets you into the channel membership, gets you a custom icon that I drew, also gets you early access for videos and monthly merch giveaways of your choosing from my Teespring store, which is also linked below the video. You can also join the Patreon there. I have a group of people where we get on the Ecstasy Podcast Club. We talk gaming, we party up, and we have a really good time. That's a great group of people that I've become really close friends with. So the Patreon is also a great way to support. Also, if you want to check out more that we're doing here on the channel to get more news and in-depth information, you can check out the Excellency podcast, which runs every Monday with my co-host, middle-aged game guy, and we talk about all this stuff. We even get some inside information that we bring to the channel and talk about what it could be, 
what it really is and what's going to happen. I appreciate that support. That's 5 p.m. on Mondays. Also available on Spotify, Apple, Google Podcasts. But I want to know what you think about FSR 3. What games do you think we'll see this in first? Is this going to be the saving thing that'll get us out of the pitfall that is 30 FPS? Let me know in the comment section. And while you're there, as I always say, remember, be nice.